Coming up, the Reds walk off and the Angels beat the Red Sox late. This is Locked On Game to Game, MLB. Every game, every team, every angle. Locked On Game to Game, your team every day. Welcome in. You're listening to Locked On Game to Game MLB. Local experts join us to go over all of the action for you yesterday across Major League Baseball. I'm your host, Kainani Stevens. Thank you for making Locked On your first listen every single weekday. The Guardians shut out the White Sox in Cleveland last night, and our Locked On Guardians host recaps that win. Cleveland Guardians with a big win. After losing three straight, they get the shutout win. And as we all expected, the stars in this one are Hunter Gattis and Mike Zanino. Uh, sometimes you just can't uh, can't figure it out. They got their first run on the board thanks to uh, you know manufacturing it. That, that worked well, but the Zanino two-run homer gave them some space, and Hunter Gaddis was brilliant. Uh, listen, he has had his rough games, but that's two brilliant starts for him this year. It was a lot of debate, and I will stand. Gaddis is your spot starter. That is the right time for a spot starter with the rest of your rotation getting healthy. Let's not muck up the 40-man anymore. Uh, this was a nice win for a team that uh, came off a horrible weekend. Again, if we're doing three stars, it's got to be Gaddis. It's got to be Zanino. And then I argue Gabby Arias for scoring that first run. Uh, strong performance, great win when the team really needed it. Tocopita Marcano hit his first career grand slam for the Pirates, and Pittsburgh got by the Rangers on Monday. Locked on Pirates and Rangers have more after Pittsburgh's win at home. I mean, I appreciate commitment to the bit as much as anybody, but the Rangers bullpen needs to find a new bit besides being bad and blowing close games. Rangers lose 6-4 to four in the series opener against the Pirates, including five runs given up in the bottom of the seventh inning by the bullpen. I'm Bryce Patrick, host of the Locked On Rangers podcast. This was a wasted great outing from outing from Dane Dunning, five and two-thirds innings of one-run ball. The Rangers offense was able to scratch three runs across in the final two innings, including two coming off the bat of Josh Young with a two-run shot in the ninth, his 10th home run of the season. But the bullpen blew it yet again. Josh Forrest gave up three runs, all of them earned in one inning of work. And Joe Barlow, in a third of an inning, gives up a pair of home, a pair of runs on a home run. Just not a great outing by this pen. The only good news from the pen Jonathan Hernandez kind of looked like himself but by then didn't matter you can raise the Jolly Roger as the Pittsburgh Pirates defeat the Texas Rangers in game one of their series six to four and it was a night of first Luis Ortiz goes seven and two-thirds innings to pick up his first career major league victory and bounce back from two starts that were pretty subpar this year for 2023 with his performance so far And then, of course, the seventh inning came, and Tuca Peter Marcano got his first career grand slam, propelling the Pirates to this victory. It ultimately ended up being the difference in what was a very close game throughout, but this is just the win the Pirates needed. Now, can they win a series in the month of May? That's another thing that they need to do that would be another first, but we'll find out tomorrow. My name is Ethan Smith, your host of the Locked on Pirates podcast, and I will see you on the flip side. Lourdes Gariel Jr. went four for four and drove in a pair of runs, extending his hit streak to 15 games. That helped the Diamondbacks beat the Phillies yesterday. Locked on Diamondbacks tells us more after Arizona's victory. The D-backs take down the reigning NL champs, Philadelphia Phillies, with a score of 6-3 to three in Game 1 of their series. Miller Thomas of Locked on Dimebacks here. The Madison Bumgarner replacement, Tommy Henry, has looked really solid in the rotation. Another start where he pitched into the sixth inning, giving up no more than two earned runs. And three of his last four starts, he has at least... He's at least pitched into the sixth inning and has allowed no more than two earned runs during that time frame as well. In those starts, he pitches into the sixth inning, I should say. The offense also backed him up, scoring six runs. Christian Walker and Lords Guriel, when it became a one-run ball game after the seventh, they broke it open with back-to-back doubles in the eighth to give the D-backs some extra insurance runs. Then the D-backs tacked on another in the ninth for good measure. We got a Paven Smith home run in this ball game. Guriel went 
went four for four, even got uh, uh, Gurry also had a home run as well. So great job by the D-backs offense. Great job by the D-backs pitching. I mean, Miguel Castro at one point had to work out of a bases loaded jam, and he was able to do that. D-backs hang on for victory, but like we always say, we're not satisfied with just one. So let's go win the series. The Cincinnati Reds walked off on a sacrifice fly in the 10th inning. Both locked on Reds and locked on Cardinals. Tell us how Cincy finished off St. Louis. Nikki ball game. What's up? This is Jeff Carr from the Lockdown Reds podcast, and Nick Senzel made sure that the Cincinnati Reds weren't going to lose to the stinking St. Louis Cardinals. Beautiful game from him. The comeback tour or breakout tour, however you look at it for Nick Senzel, continues. Multi-hit game, game-winning RBI. You'll love to see it. Matt McClain, solid game from him as well at the plate. A lot of good at-bats for him as he breaks into this game against the Cardinals with a couple of hits and getting the Reds started with the run scoring. You know, Brandon Williamson, it was a little bit of a tougher outing for him, but he was still able to pitch all right. I I saw some good things from him. But Alexis Diaz, I mean, come on. We're to the point now that it's elementary. He comes into the game, the other team stops scoring, period. That's how it goes with Alexis Diaz on the mound. And if you don't know, how you know. They had their chances. The Cardinals had their chances, a whole lot of chances, but they fall to the Reds in extra innings. Hey, it's J.D. from Locked On Cardinals, and coming off of a very successful homestand, the team had an opportunity to, uh, you know, continue to put space between themselves and the Reds in the NL Central on Monday, a team who just got swept by the New York Yankees at home. They got just seven hits on the night, but were also granted nine walks from the Cincinnati Reds pitchers. The game was there for the taking. It was there, but the boys were pitiful with runners in scoring position, going just three for 16. They left 12 men on base on Monday, struck out a combined 14 times. The top four hitters in the lineup alone went over 17 with seven strikeouts. Props to Paul DeYoung. Had another three-run bomb, drove in four tonight, but most of the rest of the lineup was MIA in Sensi. For the latest updates and info, be sure to keep it locked on Cardinals. Coming up, the Astros dominate the Brewers and the Giants score on the Twins early. This is Locked On Game to Game MLB. Today's edition of Locked On Game to Game is brought to you by Game Time. Buying tickets last minute should not be stressful. Game Time is a fast and easy way for you to buy those tickets to all the sports, music, comedy, theater, anything you are interested in near you. Forget planning months in advance because Game Time has deals on tickets right up to the day of the event. You get exclusive flash deals as well for football, basketball, baseball, concerts, comedy, theater, anything you might be interested in checking out. And that game time guarantee means you will always get the best price because if you find tickets in the same section or row for less somewhere else, game time will credit you 110% of the difference. So download the Game Time app, create an account, use code locked on MLB for $20 off your first purchase. Terms do apply. Again, you can create an account and redeem code locked on MLB for $20 off. Download Game Time today. Last minute tickets, lowest price guaranteed. Welcome back. You're listening to Locked On Game to Game MLB. I'm your host, Kainani Stevens. Jordan Alvarez finished with two home runs and five RBIs, leading the way in an Astros blowout of the Brewers in Milwaukee. Locked On Astros has the details. Hey there, H.M. Wellhouse here with Locked On Astros. And the Astros bring the bats to Milwaukee as Jordan Alvarez launches a grand slam and another home run. Corey Jolks joins in, Martin Maldonado goes deep, and so does Mauricio Dubon. You know, the recent Padawan learner at the plate. Mauricio Dubon, who has started hitting ever since he sat down and played a game of dominoes with Jordan Alvarez. Yes, that Mauricio Dubon. And on the mound, Christian Javier gets his fifth win of the season. He's 5-1 and one now, notching five strikeouts. The bats, this was an explosion. You had a triple by Jake Myers at one point. You also had a double by Corey Jolks. This was a complete game. The bullpen got it done. The Astros got it done. 12-2 to two shellacking of the Milwaukee Brewers. We'll talk about this on the next Locked on Astros. Remember, your team every day. The Giants scored all four of their runs in the first inning, but it was still enough to beat the Twins in Minnesota on Monday. Logged on Giants and Twins give us both sides of that matchup. 
The Giants had four runs, four batters into this game against the Minnesota Twins, and then they did not score again the rest of the game, but the pitching made it hold up in a bullpen game. This is Ben Kaspik with the Lockdown Giants podcast. Walk, walk, double homer. 4 nothing Giants in the first inning. You're thinking this is going to be a blowout, but the Giants were not able to add on. Conforto, by the way, the one hitting the big uh, three-run homer. But the Giants pitching in a bullpen game. John Brebbia for one inning. Sean Manaya for three and two-thirds, eight strikeouts. Tristan Beck, Tyler Rogers, and Scott Alexander, they locked it down and held the Twins to one run. So a really impressive job by the bullpen in this bullpen game and the offense did enough in the first four hitters to make a stand so uh, we'll break this one down tomorrow on locked on giants where it's your team every day it's the locked on twins breathless post game minute and what do you want me to say same as it ever was twins doing the exact same things that they've struggled with for ages now twins bottom five of the order go o for 18 with 12 strikeouts Twins strike out 16 times on the night. And here's something that tells you all you need to know. They were absolutely squashed by Sean Manaya, who threw three and two-thirds innings of shutout ball with eight strikeouts. After that performance, his ERA came down to 6.89. This offense is a disaster right now, and it's downright unwatchable. And everybody has to be accountable for this, but it's an absolute mess. And with that said, yeah, we'll see you tomorrow. This one sucks. Mickey Money, I get a go-ahead home run in the eighth inning to send the Angels past the Red Sox on Monday night. Locked on Angels gives us his takes after the narrow win. Well, the most popular Mickey in Anaheim is not a mouse, it's an angel. Hey, everybody, it's Mike Frisch, one half of Locked On Angels. Angels get a victory on Monday night, 2-1 to one over the Boston Red Sox. They came in super hot. They have a great offense, but our pitching staff shut them down. And it was tied 1-1 one to one in the eighth inning, and Mickey Moniak came up and hit a solo home run to give the Angels a 2-1 to one lead. And then the bullpen... Shut them down. Chris Davinsky and Chase Silseth retired 11 in a row to end the game, and the Angels find themselves at 26 and 23. I have one complaint about this game, and John and I are going to talk about that complaint on Locked On Angels. We hope you'll join us. That's it for this edition of Locked On Game to Game MLB. Thank you for making Locked On your first listen every single weekday. Make sure you're subscribed to Locked On MLB and your favorite team's Locked On podcast on YouTube and wherever else you get your podcasts from. I'm Kainani Stevens. This has been Locked On Game to Game.